is up everybody so uh checking out the mails looking what's new okay ai character shape generator for dares now this this is a cool use for ai now they start to think in the right direction which is amazing so this just came up what's coming out it's a uh, an ai character shape generator by yellow i don't know who yellow is but uh here they are and you can create it's a plugin for des and you can create bodies right accelerate your character start by using simple prompts to generate a detailed body mesh then take full control so it looks like it's a body only but it's the right direction sign up for the beta accepting users cool prompt select texture 3d figures made easy blah, 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 blah. so this is definitely a step in the right direction i think this is cool this is a tool for dares it's not just some ai rubbish or whatever now they're starting to create tools for dares and this is starting to look pretty cool okay all of that stuff they're showing you there it's not that it's the body so they've made it pretty clear down here you get your figure you use the plugin and you prompt you prompt jimmy and you prompt whatever you know skinny dude with whatever whatever i don't know how far it can go and that's that's what i'm looking for so over here you can see they've got very basic prompts but can you prompt something with scars or you know missing one arm or you know these are the questions these are the questions which i don't see so basically it looks like it's just the body but can you do an amputee can you do somebody with scars can you you know how high resolution does the mesh go that's the big one for me right how high resolution can we get that mesh can we get details on the mesh which i doesn't look like it so gonna have to wait and see what is the resolutions of the mesh can you get scars can you get deformations can you get amputees can you get what you're looking for now look it's not the face it's the body right so it's this one prompt describe the character shape that you'd like to generate select the character shape from the generated figures it'll obviously generate a couple you can select the one you want and you can probably carry on from there now here three and four this is back in daz so this is just normal daz now add skin textures from what you've owned already select clothing and accessories in daz studio so the rest just works so basically all this is at the moment is a body generator not a face a body generator which it's a start right now the one thing they always do which i understand is they roll out very early so this will be added upon added upon added upon it's very early stages uh i get it why they have to roll it out like this so they can start generating a bit of revenue off of it and maybe get some feedback from users and whatnot browse thousands of genesis 9 skin textures hair clothing accessories poses and apply them with daz studio okay so this is just normal daz boom you're creating a body what can you do with yellow uh ethically trained ai models which means no big dongs and stuff i guess uh, you know these kind of things streamline which is fine streamline your workflow with yellow ai model uh originally character shapes fine boost efficiency uh sure i think this can this can be a real uh time winner especially like small little minute things that you want to get onto your model maybe this can help get the get the frame out and then you can start doing those minutes uh, the big thing is what is the resolution what is the resolution mate can can you give me really eye resolution get some really nice details in that, in that model versatile design experiment adi uh experiment with different character shapes quickly and effortlessly too okay optimized topology generate while well, it has to use the same topology as what we're using right uh otherwise nothing works uh simple integration which is pretty cool i mean it's using the whatever but can we get the high-res versions that's the big one studio has a plugin to iterate uh, okay let's see how easy it is to use compatible genesis 9 content in the desktop expand okay so it's only genesis 9 which isn't it's not great it does force you to go into genesis 9 Ari, but Ari wants that money he wants that cash but i think the majority of des users are still on eight i think the majority are still using those characters so that is a little bit of a problem mate 
That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Register for you're on the list. Oh, I registered. Very nice. Thank you for registering. Yeah, you're welcome. I probably won't get one. I don't know if they like me there very much. I'm always complaining about dares. So I don't know. But I do like making art for it. And then you get this kind of stuff. Frequently asked questions. Frequent? Okay. Okay. So you can look at the video. It's there. How to use it. Frequently asked questions. How long does each generation take? A generation to take no more than six to seven minutes. Yellow expects to reduce the generation. Okay, that's that's a long time. In six seven minutes, I can get a I can get a base out. I can get a base out. So that that don't that don't help me. That don't help me. What version? Okay, no one cares. It's the latest one. Are there hardware constraints? Sure. Oh, obviously, it's going to be your PC to run Dash, right? Uh, what are some prompts that work and don't work? Look at that. Look at that documentation. What introduction? Oh, this is too much. Installation generating prompts. So, wow, several minutes. That's a lot of several minutes. Yeah, the maximum is 300 characters. Okay, that's not a lot either. Female am I? You can specify the number of okay. I mean, huh. As a plugin producer, do not describe anything that won't be part of the output, such as specific pose, facial expressions, hair, facial. Yeah, we know this. This this needs to be done in Daz. Uh, a retired 50-year-old boxer. He has a big forehead, a jawline square. Okay, so, yeah, plus-size female skin. I mean, very basic prompts, right? So I don't think that you're going to... You're not going to be able to get details. There's, there's no details. Put it that way. Uh... I could be wrong, but I don't think they're going to... I think they're working on base meshes, which means no detail, right? You, you're not going to put scars and wounds and whatever. So, I could be wrong. I'm probably not, though. I'm probably not, though, mate. You know what I mean? Probably not, though, you know. So, let's go back here. Uh, can I generate clothing? No, okay, you can't. Uh, will sliders and morphs work for characters? Yes. How much will the plugin cost now here's the big one love here's the big one we are evaluating the exact pricing once the plugin is fully launched what is it is this going to be a subscription is this going to be a ridiculous mount is this i got a feeling it's going to be a point system i've got a feeling because very very few human beings or companies get this right you know they 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 lean towards the cash. How do we, how do we profit off of this? And profit means, you know, once their little greedy little eyes start turning and their heads just start snapping, this is where they fall apart. So, how much will the plugin cost once the beta is over? I've got a feeling it's gonna be free, but it's a point-based system or some stupid subscription. But I think a point-based system will generate them a lot more money. So, you know. If this was just a once-off, you buy it and you can use it, fine. Charge a bit of cash, right? At the moment, it's worth five bucks. Okay, in, in my eyes, it's worth five bucks. If you you, you go buy a, a Vinmay morphs and you you can do all of this stuff already, uh, and a ton more, right? Twenty bucks, right? Twenty bucks, say. So because Vinmay can do a hell of a lot more, I would say ten bucks for the plugin, but it's not gonna be that. They're gonna do a subscription or a point-based. I'm positive but take that with a grain of salt i don't know we don't know yet where do i reach out for questions and issues okay uh daz customer support okay so if you have a question uh through my experience a month later you'll get an answer a month or more uh one once or twice they've come back earlier but usually it's about a month waiting time that you can expect any kind of answer from daz so what do we think of this i think this is the right direction i think this is definitely the right direction that they're going definitely 100 percent tools for daz this is cool uh is it any good we don't know mate but in all honesty it looks basic very basic but getting out a base mesh can be very cool very quick and, and fast what i'm looking forward to is where is this going where is this going when can we expect faces when can we expect high-res meshes you can see over there love you can see over there it was all lord is it's all lord is love 
and then you put on your stuff, which is cool. I think this this is what people have been asking for. This is it. Now, let's give them the benefit of the doubt and let's wait to see where it progresses to, right? It can only get better, hopefully. So, you know, kudos on you guys for actually listening. You listened. Maybe it wasn't you. It's Yellow that seemed to be listening. I don't know who Yellow is, but they seem to be listening and Dare seemed to like, okay, this actually, this might, this might benefit us. This is what people have been asking for. Tools within Dare's using AI. Tools that you can make your own things. Like if you look at Reblium Studios, you create your character and then you use AI to get a cool image out of something. That's cool. It's tools for artists, not just prompting and you get a finished picture, love. Ari, get in the co- Margaret, can you get me a salad, Margaret? Aye, that's right. Oh, aye. No, not that one, Margaret. So I think they're going in the right direction now, and this is cool news. Do I think it's worth it at the moment? It's it's infant stages, man. You can generate a body. Get the Vinmay pack, you can generate it. Do I like what they're doing? Yes. Yes, this is what we're asking for. Give them time to turn it into a proper product. At the moment, it's bare bones. It's a body. There's no faces. No, there's nothing. It's a body you're getting. Can I achieve with something else? Yes. For right now, Vinmay Morph Pack, you sorted. You've paid once. You've got the best pack on earth in Daz. And you can create any character from it. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll try it out. I'll test it just, for like, just to see where it is. But it looks basic. Uh, my thoughts are it's going to be extremely basic. But let's see. Maybe it surprises, right? Maybe it surprises us. Anyway, I hope this news helps. I think this is the right direction for Daz. I think this is cool. It's nice to see uh, that they're taking it seriously, that they're listening to people, you know, tools for AI within Daz. So I hope you have a lovely weekend, Gary and Margaret and Tom and everyone. Ari, not you, you bastard. Hope you have a great weekend. I hope this helps and we'll speak to you later. Bye, guys.